In this video, I'll show the proper cable preparation and termination instructions for Belden's 179DT digital truck cable along with Belden's 179DTB HD1 one-piece compression BNC connector. Cable preparation for small cables such as Belden's 179DT is a critical step in the process of termination. I'll use Belden's Cable Pro one quarter by one quarter prep tool with a red cartridge installed for miniature cables. I'll install the cable fully into the tool, insert it. I like to seat the blades a little bit into the cable and then start my rotation, three or four rotations. And I also like to hold the tool in place while I remove the excess jacket. It's very important, critical in fact, to remove and make sure that all braid is pulled away from the cable jacket from the dielectric foil. As any leftover braid could potentially cause a short in the electrical connection and thereby cause intermittent signal. As you can see the braid is extremely small fine and great care has to be used in removing or pulling back the braid. An additional step that the users can take is to also peel back the foil. What this does is gives greater visibility to the termination and the cable prep to allow you to ensure that there's absolutely no foil and no stray braid touching the center conductor. Okay, now that I've got the braid and the foil successfully feathered back and out of the way and I'm sure that there's no foil or braid touching the center conductor, I can insert the connector, the cable into the connector using the pin carrier, that's the orange portion in the back of the connector. You'll notice that at the front of the connector no pin is visible and as it is with a one-piece connector all of the components, the pin, the crimping ferrule, and the body are all built into one. So when I get ready to insert the cable I'll grab very close. This is thin cable can be difficult to insert and I'll put it in the pin carrier as you see, I'm pushing it all the way forward so the dielectric is touching the pin carrier. And again, keeping my hand very close so as not to bend this thin cable. I'll start to push forward into the body of the connector. Keep going until out the other end. I see the pin has risen to its final position. That lets me know that I've inserted the cable far enough without any kind of marking on the cable jacket. And the last step is to compress the connector onto the cable. And I'll use my compression tool to do so by simply installing the connector body into the compression tool. This cable doesn't give much resistance so I'll usually take my fingers and snap it in place into the, into the, into the tool body like so. So that way I get a 90 degree action as it's compressed. And the dies will do the work when I close the handle of the tool which now I've done. And I'll just do the reverse process to eject the connector which has now been terminated onto the cable. And you can see there's plenty of retention force. You can see the springiness in the BNC. Plenty of retention force. And I have a nice smooth compression 360 degrees around the body of the connector. Now I have a finished termination that I know won't have any shorts because I've removed the foil and the dielectric uh, braid all the way back before inserting into the cable. 